Hey guys, welcome to another video. In the beginning of this channel, we touched on what you are expected of civil aviation management course. And airport operations was a key sector. So understanding the components of an airport is one of the essential things you can do. In this video, we we'll break down these components from the part you enter into an airport to the part where you lift off into the skies. Let's get to it. An airport is divided into three parts. We have the land side, the terminal area, and the air side. Let's start with the land side. This is the first part of the airport you interact with. It stretches from the airport end to the terminal lobby and includes parking lots where passengers and visitors can leave their cars, often short term and long term. Drop off and pick up zones. These are areas around the terminals where passengers can be dropped off and picked up easily. Lastly, we have ground access. These are public transport stations where passengers can access the airports easily. They include roads, railways, and even water bodies to some airports. So they offer easy accessibility to the airport. Now, let's move to the other part of the airport. It is the terminal area. This is a building that encompasses things like check-in counters, places where passengers can now present their travel documents, even drop luggage, and even receive boarding passes. In this building, you can also go through security checks by your being screened and also your luggage is also screened for security purposes. And you also find the immigration in customs. The immigration deals with international travel, whereas the customs deals with goods coming in or leaving the country. In this area also, you find boarding gates and waiting areas whereby the passengers will await their flights. You also find shops, lodges, and many more. Behind the scenes, there are also operational offices, baggage systems, and also airline services. Now for the zone that's offering to the general public, the air side. This is where all the aircraft movements take place, including the runways, which are long flat strips where planes take off and land. They are marked with magnetic headings and lighting systems. Then we have taxiways. These are paved paths that guide aircraft to and from the runway, terminal, and also the hangars. Aprons or rounds are active zones where aircraft are packed, loaded, refueled, and maintained between flights. But there's more to the airside than just the aircraft movement. Surrounding are vital support zones that keep everything running. We have the control tower, that tall building you see in each airport. This is the airport's brain. Air traffic controllers inside monitor aircraft in sky and also on ground to ensure safe takeoffs, landings, and taxiing. Hangars are large and closed spaces where aircraft are stored, maintained, and inspected. Fire stations are strategically located near runways, ready to respond to emergencies within seconds. Last but not the least, we have fuel farms, which are secure areas where large quantities of jet fuel are stored, managed, and distributed to the aircraft as needed. These sections form the operational background of the airside, working to ensure safety, maintenance, and efficiency are reached. And there you have it, the full layout of a typical airport from the time you come in to the time you take off. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more aviation made simple on your own. Civil Aviation 254. Catch you in the next one.